Uh, thank you so much for joining us. What to expect from Memorial Day weekend <laughs> at our town beaches and on the water. Kind of that is the focus of what we uh, call this press conference for today. Who knew uh, a year ago when we stood here and talked about boater safety and kicking off the Memorial Day weekend, etc. Fast forward to where we are today and this is a whole different environment, a whole different Memorial Day, a whole different world really that we're in. But I really have to applaud everyone involved. Our, our residents, for the most part, have been complying, understand. Uh, but hopefully today we can focus on what is going on and make sure they continue to comply, continue to understand, because we are not through the woods yet. We realize, we really do realize that residents are looking forward to enjoying the Memorial Day weekend. On the water, on the beach, in our parks, we want everyone, however, to be mindful, mindful of the protocols and the guidelines. We've been on the phone constantly uh, the last two months plus uh, with the governor's office, with the county executive's office, health commissioners going over protocol guidelines and the ever-changing protocol and guidelines. We today are urging everyone to, above all, be considerate of one another in following the protocols for wearing face coverings and social distancing. As we work to reopen New York, we must recognize that we are all individually responsible for the progress we have made as a county and a state, but we're not out of the woods yet. We have to keep that in mind. And with that in mind, we just want to let everyone know that all town beaches starting tomorrow, Saturday, May 23rd through Monday, all beaches will be open. They'll be open from sunrise to dusk. Bath facilities, bathroom facilities and concession stands, however, will remain closed. Swimming will not be permitted and lifeguards will not be on duty at most beaches, all in accordance with the reopening New York guidelines. The town beaches that are open tomorrow for swimming will be the beach on the ocean in Atlantique. It will be open for swimming and passive use all weekend long. But as far as lifeguard coverage, lifeguards will be on duty from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. There will be limited restrooms open during the swimming hours and they will be cleaned and sanitized on a regular basis with the protocols that we have been receiving from the state. Social distancing and acceptable face coverings within six feet of one another, if you're within six feet, must have the acceptable face coverings. While sitting in, in beach chairs on a blanket, uh, masks are not required. And again, you can have that family unit, and I know some of the other speakers will be getting onto that topic. Actually, the exact uh, wording from the state mandatory guidelines was any time individuals are less than six feet apart from one another, they must wear acceptable face coverings. Mainland Bay, Bay Beaches will be open uh, for public access and passive use only. There will be no swimming. Beach access will be limited to residents only and town of Isle of Rec card or uh, an, some other form of government issued ID will be required. Bathrooms will be closed. We have been mandated to keep beach capacity at 50% and we will have monitors at the beach managing capacity as per the New York State mandatory guidelines. Public will have access to our beaches from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. and the mainland beaches are West Islip Beach, Benjamin's Beach at the Bayshore Marina, Islip Beach, the East Islip Marina Park Beach, Sable Marina Park Beach, Bayport Beach and the Lake Ronkonkoma Park Beach. At this time, I would like to introduce the chief of the department, Stu Cameron, who has been doing an absolutely incredible job. Yesterday, he hosted a uh, sort of local government enforcement call uh, from the county with all the town supervisors and mayors, and it really was very, very helpful because there have been a lot of questions about how enforcement is going to be handled. And uh, we now, with the summer season kicking in unofficially, not only have the challenge of maintaining and enforcing that on the mainland, but also out on the water. I'm sure everyone here, everyone watching this, has heard again and again 
the phrase, in these uncertain times. But let me assure you of one thing that is absolutely certain. The Suffolk County Police Department is fully functional and hitting on all cylinders. There is absolutely no issue with that. We're out to protect the public on the land and on the water. And we're functional with our patrol officers in our precincts, as well as our Marine Bureau. And we plan to work as we always do with our partner agencies, such as the town of Islip. And I'm, I'm very proud to say throughout this pandemic that all of our associated law enforcement agencies in Suffolk County and all the town and village public safety agencies and code enforcements and town harbor masters have been on board and we've been working to pull the rope in the same direction and that is absolutely going to continue as we open up boating season on the water and people can come out and uh, enjoy themselves. So when we were here last year when I joined Supervisor Carpenter here I spoke a lot about standard marine safety practices, having uh, an adequate number of personal flotation devices on your vessel, uh, being concerned about uh, boating while intoxicated. We're concerned about all of that. Those issues do not go away as we reopen the boating season, but this year, as we all know, we have to be also concerned about public health issues. Public health issues don't stop when you get to the water, and that's uh, something uh, that we have to, to uh, a message that we have to get out. And I'm sure for many people that are boat owners or people that like to go to the beach, it's going to be a wonderful experience to get out of your houses, to get some fresh air. Perhaps even for a moment, you, when you're out enjoying yourselves, you'll be able to forget about the pandemic. But what you should not forget about is the precautions that we've implemented to keep everybody safe. When people come out, if things go wrong, we can, we can take a huge step backwards and erase a lot of the progress that we've made and that absolutely cannot happen. We have to maintain all the same precautions that we do on the land when we go out on the water. You can continue to catch COVID on the Great South Bay or in the Long Island Sound, that, that does not go away. So when you go out on your boat, try and limit it to your family uh, and try not to tie boats together, maintain your social distancing and follow the rules that uh, Supervisor Carpenter laid out so well. But as a reminder, make sure when you go out, you don't forget the normal rules of the, uh, of the water. Make sure you have a PFD of the correct size for everybody on your vessel. Don't operate your boat while you've been drinking. And please, please obey all the same public health precautions that we've implemented on the shore. Thank you, and I hope everybody has a wonderful safe weekend and as the as the supervisor said be empathetic and be compassionate for everybody we're all in this together and we can all get through this together and you can still have some fun if you obey the rules and you're responsible thank you and uh his message really i hope everyone is taking to heart and hearing loud and clear you know we do want you to have fun but we want everyone to do it in a safe and respectful manner um i'd also like to note uh, before I bring Tony D'Amico up, our Commissioner of Public Safety, that behind me we have the members of some of the members of our team in Harbor Patrol. You'll see their smiling faces out on the water and, and down by the marinas, and they're there to make sure that you have a good time, a safe time, but also that you obey the rules. We'll see those fi smiling faces. Unfortunately, they might be behind a mask. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, yeah, so, you know, we're going on in about three months where people have been cooped up. And now it's Memorial Day weekend, maybe not Saturday, but Sunday, Monday, it's going to be warm. It's going to be nice. So we really have to, uh, you know, I got to echo the sentiments of um, Chief Cameron and uh, Supervisor Carpenter. You know, be safe. Get, you know, nothing goes away because of COVID. They're still, you know, drinking and boating is illegal. You know, we have to maintain uh, courtesy for other people. You know, we have to be out there and actually uh, just be aware of what's going on. But also, please understand, you know, the men and women in the police department, men and women of uh, public safety they've been out there they've been working every day since this started and it's tough so if they come up to you and ask you to spread apart you know um, break up your group you know put your mask on you know please be mindful that uh, you know they're just out there trying to protect everybody and uh, trying to keep you to following the rules we don't want this thing spiking up again we don't want people getting sick and closing more things again we want to be able to get out of this and enjoy the summer I'd like to bring up next our Commissioner of Parks um, DPW, Recreation, Cultural Affairs, uh, and also to note that his deputy, uh, Deirdre Wahlberg, is here with us today. 
he and his entire team have been scrambling the last couple of days particularly because the guidelines that we have been asking for for weeks from the state on how we're going to handle the opening of the beaches etc with the summer season upon us we really received the official documents around midnight Wednesday so reading through everything and it was pages of, of actions that are deemed mandatory on our part as a local municipality so there was training that was going on with staff yesterday um, and getting our parks and facilities ready so I really want to applaud not only Tom and his team but Tony and everyone else uh, in the town who really have taken this to heart and we really so care about all of our residents we want you to have a great time we really really want you to be safe good afternoon um, what an exciting day for the Parks Commissioner in the town of Islip as we start to give our residents back their valuable resources as your Parks Commissioner I just want to let you know that we've been working from dawn to dusk to get your beaches marinas and all your resources back to you we will need your help to do this it will require patience and courtesy with public health in mind our staff has been trained thoroughly for the task and I'm sure you will find them professional courteous and patient please help us help you and I know the supervisor has that great saying um, which you're probably gonna say about the six feet that's all right that's great <laughs> you know we're all in it together but we're six feet apart so if you could just be like Tony D'Amico said the Public Safety Commissioner if you could just be patient we're all in it together thank you as Tom said uh, we're in it together just six feet apart uh, but if you have any questions for anyone, council members, the commissioners, uh, Stu, any questions? Well, the uh, town uh, harbor patrol will be out. The beach managers will be at the facilities. Uh, Atlantique will be open. The marina is open. Uh, so the traditional dock master, beach managers, lifeguards, everyone will be in place but there have been extra staff dedicated to monitoring the occupancy and the compliance with social distancing. If someone refuses to comply, and that would be, you know, something we don't anticipate, <laughs> uh, but if on that rare occasion someone does refuse to comply, we will be calling the police department. That is the protocol. And they have been committed to enforce everything that needs to be but I think when you point out to them and really yesterday a lot of time was spent with the staff in you know encouraging them to approach people in a respectful way and encouraging them to be compliant and not you know bringing the hammer down right away and I think at the end of the day everyone wants to be safe no one wants to be sick and all you need to do is to talk to somebody that's had COVID and uh, you know, someone that I know personally suffered 51 days. It's not a picnic. So, any other questions? All right, thank you very much for helping get the message out. We really appreciate it. Thank you.